My name is uh, Jansson Toribyong. I am the president of the Republic of Papua. In September of 2009, while I spoke before the United Nations, I declared Palau as the first shark sanctuary in the world. At the same time, when I took office, I required all the villages in Palau, we call them states, the local governments, to establish marine sanctuaries in their lagoons to ensure the sustainability of our fish stocks and marine resources. We have a symbiotic relationship with the ocean and that if we abuse the ocean, we will more or less diminish the quality of our life, even our very survival. Millions and millions of sharks a year are killed and the bodies are disposed into the water while they slice off the fins to make shark fin soup. The need to protect our sharks much outweighs the need to enjoy a bowl of shark fin soup. The health of our ocean is reflected by the health of our sharks. And sharks are beautiful sea animals. They move gracefully in the water. They patrol the oceans. And to destroy them means to destroy one of the link in the ecosystem, which will in effect diminish the health of the ocean and the quality of our lives. Unless we raise the next generation of people who are environment-minded, uh, we may destroy ourselves in the long run. I told the kids the other day uh, who were visiting Palau that I really uh, I am impressed and appreciate the fact that one of the goals of the Kids Sea Camp is to promote love of the ocean and the greater awareness of the environment, the marine environment. And I told them that what you love, you don't hurt, you don't damage. So to love the ocean would create a passion to protect the ocean. How can you damage something that you love? Unless we raise our children to love the oceans, the seas, and the marine environment, we may lose forever the beauty and the resourcefulness of our ocean. I urge the world leaders, the parents, to teach their children to love the oceans of the world. And to the children who love the ocean, please write to your leaders, to your congressmen, to your senators, to urge them to enact laws and adopt policies which will protect and conserve our resources. Finally, I now invite the entire world to come to Palau and enjoy the beauty and resourcefulness of our ocean. It's been described as the eighth wonder of the world.